I'm not touching on anything to do with breathing, to do with the feeding, to do with the costing. Today we are dealing with management. So it's feeding. That's why I'm. So the answer is feeding. The answer is feeding more Let's let's now go to the final one. Final one. What records would you keep in your phone? This one now closes the management. What records? The basic ones that you must have. Come again. Building record. Yes. Building record is one. Yes. Yes. record. That is the matter. How much is this cow producing? Health. Health record. Yes. Health record. Yes. Yeah. It says feeding record. Yes. Breeding. Yes. Breeding record. Breeding record. We are saying breeding. Breeding. Yes. Breeding record. We are saying. But the warming record. The warming record. Yes. Yeah. We want to see how you are. The warming. Wait. Weight, we talked about weight, isn't it? Weight, very important we talked about it. And then That's a record. <laughs> right. Money record. Let me summarize that. Number one, insemination record. Insemination, mm. you are doing. We are talking of ideal mm. daily cow. cow. Ideal commercial daily cow. So, insemination record. Insemination, what are you checking? You are First insemination, how many months? How many months? In the end of 18, in the end of 24, in the end of three years, two years. That's not a commercial car. We serve at an age of 12 months. Between 12 and 18, we will not be worried. Above 18, we will be worried. We will be worried. So that is the first record to keep. Second record is weight. Still under insemination, wait. You should not inseminate your cow or heifer when it is below 350 kilos if it is a fresh year. A fresh year. If it is asha, it can be 300. 350, that is the minimum. Body weight. Body weight. Kilogram. Yes, kilograms. <laughs> That's why we are taking weight <laughs> to monitor. Yes, sir, 300. That is fresh. Asha, it can be done with 300. <laughs> Still under insemination, you check on conception. Unaipea dume marangapi. Is it first, second, third? If you go to the fourth, na haishiki kunashida. So check on what is wrong with your car. Record number two, you require insemination record. Record number two, calving intervals. Calving intervals. I may prepare a jaw. Count how many days you will have a jaw. It should be on average 365 days to 400. 365 days to 420. If you go above that, you're more very commercial. How am I getting 365? Because the milking days should be 3 or 5. You add the 60 days, I could drive your mom this video. So you don't in a kuja, 365. That's how I'm getting that. So at least you are sure every year you are getting a car. Every year you are getting a car. I think you kill an owner. The owner you have two years. You prepare your regime. Are you in business? The third one is lactation. Lactation. One of two. Lactation. You are missing milk production. In a milk production, in a lactation. Lactation record. Uyo ngobe wako umekamua siku ngapi. Umesema maximum is? 305, isn't it? 305, isn't it? If you end up beyond, uyo ngobe ya mechena. The others, who goes to 270. Anatua ako sabi, anatua ako sabi. Then, from lactation, the 305, you are going to get the average yield of a cow. We talked about it in the moment. How do we get the average yield? Total production divided by 305 days. Maibo, kisikia mtu wanakuambia our farm 
had average is four. Maybe it is a, after one month, it is four. Then in either 30, then in either kumi. That's why we are taking the total three or five days. The milk you have produced, divide by that, you get the average of a cow. Then you go to the herd. How many cows are you milking? <coughs> then you divide so that you see the average herd. Health record, health record. In a livestock registration certificate, it's very important. If you know a model, fish certificate, the registration, you need a certificate. Growth rate, that is weight, the number of days you should have it. And finally, milk record, daily per so from here, what do we do? We now go for practice.